Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Doug Borg, and this could be the latest game preview edition of the Grittiest Takers. We're here to preview our Philadelphia Flyers on a rare two-game winning streak this year against the Florida Panthers, who are 39-13-5, and one of the biggest cup contenders in the league against our 18-28-10 and Flyers, who are coming in goaltending hot uh, as Carter Hart had a great almost 50-save 2-1 to win over Chicago, that the Flyers were able to score, or not over Chicago, over Vegas, excuse me, that the Flyers were able to score twice in the first, but then Hart was able to just save the day, and as Jim Jackson announced at the end, a Hart-stomping win that they were able to get, and then Morton Jones was also very good in the game against Chicago as well, and I thought he was even big in that game, and the better goaltender, obviously, as Lankinen let in a squeaky goal for the one by Atkinson there that ended up being the winning goal, so I think the Flyers, this winning streak, it's really Carter Hart standing on his head to be able to get the second win, but also a good first game by Morton Jones, so the goaltending has been key. But when it comes to tonight's game, I think that's going to be the case again. I don't think the Flyers, um, they did at least keep the Blackhawks under 30 shots, but a lot of those, in my opinion, were pretty high-octane chances that they were able to get decent chances on Jones, and Jones was able to make some good saves. And then against Hart, they allowed way too many high-octane chances when Hart was in uh, against Vegas. but He's able to be a goalie that steals a game, and that's exactly what he did. He stole the show. But I think that's going to have to be the case because, again, the Flyers don't match up just like they didn't match up well against Vegas. And that showed in the game and from watching the game with the amount of uh, shots and high percentage shots they allowed on net. I think that's going to happen tonight against Florida where it's going to have to be a big game by Carter Hart, who's having a fantastic season himself. Um, they're going to need a big game by him, and maybe some energy spark into the back end of that defense since Cam York's going to be back, albeit on a line with Keith Yander, which is a line I hate because I don't think those two gel well together at all. I think they would actually work better with Sealer, but that is what it is. Risto and Sanheim were together still. They're now extended. Rasmus was the line of the five years, 5.1 million. Check out that video if you want to on my channel. I did a video on that earlier. And then Provy and Braun stay as the first line. Then it's Mayhew, Brown, McEwen as the fourth. Lindblom, Hayes, Van Riemsdyk, third. Broussard, Faraby, Atkinson, second, Lawden, Giroux, uh, Konechny as the first. This team is going to have to D up significantly better than they did against Vegas because Carter Hart is a guy that can steal the show on any given night, but you can't necessarily expect your goalie either to have that ridiculous of a performance on back-to-back -back nights either where the Flyers can't allow pretty much 90% of the shots is what it felt like in the Vegas game to be high percentage scoring chances for the other team. That's never going to lead you to a high success rate. They need to lock it down better this game. They locked it down much better um, against Chicago, but still allowed too many chances. Like I said, um, they just played a, better in terms of play, but they also played a far inferior team to now playing the Florida Panthers and from playing the Vegas Golden Knights where they really got shellacked, but Carter Hart stood on his head. We're going to need Carter Hart to stand on his head again tonight, I think, is the first key of the game. And the Flyers are going to need to have a wrist line and continue to play uh, well. They're going to need Sanheim to continue to play well as a second key that line. And then Cam York, the third thing is hopefully he does bring in a new infusion of energy because he, he should have been called up, actually, I should say, a lot sooner recall, but he's recalled now. I don't think him and Yandel gel the best, but they're going to keep trying to get Yandel up and up more on that uh, Ironman streak, so uh, that's why he's still in, but it is what it is. At least York is back in, and then against the Panthers, with how hot Cam Atkinson's getting, I'm looking for him to continue to keep adding to the score sheet. If he can pot a couple, then the Flyers will have a chance against this team with the way Carter Hart's been playing this season. But it's about getting over really the two-goal threshold. They were able to luck out and have Hart play amazing against Vegas. If they can get over that two-goal threshold, I think they could squeak out because of how well Hart plays. But that's really what they're going to need to do. As in um, conclusion in this video, uh, I'll give you guys the Florida Panthers lines for tonight real quick. The projected lines against our Flyers, which is Verhege, Barkov, uh, Maxim, or, um, yeah, um, Alexander Barkov, Maxim, Maxmi, Maxman, um, who's been playing pretty well for them. One of the harder names to pronounce is because it's a tongue twister with the way that it's Maxmim and then Maxim, Maxmim. Um, but Jonathan Huberto, Sam Bennett, Anthony Duclair, 
Mason Marchment, B2 Lister Reinen, Sam Reinhart, Frank Vetrano, Noah Corey, and <clears throat> Patrick Hornquist as Noah Corey is back up with the Florida Panthers. Uh, Mackenzie Weger, Aaron Ekblad, Drew Scott uh, is the first defensive pairing. Gustav Forsen Dudas is the second. Um, Pat, Pat Terry Lindholm, uh, who's going to be in his first game of the season for them. And Brandon Montour is going to be the third. And that's because Marcus Nudavar, who's only been able to play one game for them this year, is banged up uh, for the Florida Panthers. And uh, they're going to be re- they're going to be I guess resting or or sitting Lucas Carlson as it has him in the projected scratches as Sergey Bobrovsky is then the projected goaltender for tonight. So it's going to be a great goaltending matchup between Bob and Hart. I think this is a game Hart's going to need to stand on his head again. But if again Cam Atkinson can be hot and continue to keep scoring, we can continue to have the good play of the Risto and Sandheim line, and Cam York can bring that energy. Those will kind of be my keys to being able to somehow come out with a win when on paper, just as I said, the previous Vegas game where the Flyers somehow did come out with a win. They do not shape up well where Carter Hart stood on his head to get that win. Hopefully that happens again tonight. This has been a preview of the Flyers versus the Florida Panthers. Have a great, safe, pleasant day, everybody. This has been the latest edition of the Vivius Take. Peace for everybody. Stay safe and please subscribe down below. Up above them, the easiest widget to keep scrubbing at 215 by the end of March. Peace out, everybody.